Hello everyone, this is the Ancient Poet Mickey Alley and welcome to the next episode of Review Wind Down. Now this is the show where I review stuff and that goes to wind down from the day's events or week's events if you want to mention. So, on today's episode we have got a lot, and I mean a lot of stuff to review. We've got two new, we've got two new My Boy and Spring magazines as well as four, I think four, new ball games to review. So, we go start off with the magazines. First off, we have issue number 107, Enhancing Your Mind, Body, Spirit. What came with this issue is the free gifts first. We have a, have a new set of cards, chakra cards. So we have base chakra meditations, base chakra remedies, another base chakra remedy, um, sacral chakra meditations, as well as two sacral chakra remedies. So that's good. I think these like to help with um, your chakras, obviously, because they're called chakra cards. Um, but yeah, they look very well. Um, on the back, you got the little description about how it's like. Here's the for the remedy cards, and here's for the meditation cards. You can see the comparison. As well as getting a new massage oil, geranium. So, let's open this up and see what we got. Alright, so, here it is out of its packaging. As you can see, it's labelled geranium correctly in a very, in a possibly dark red label. Very pungent slash tangy smell. Good scent. Okay, so there's that. Now to look at the actual issue itself. So we have healing with geranium, obviously with the new massage oil. Um, aroma therapy for panic attacks, which is very useful in my case with mental health. Um, understanding your yoga life. Understanding your chakra healing cards. Very useful with the new set of cards that we just got. Healing Traditions of the Middle East. Balancing Relationships with Friendships. Discovering Shinto Weddings from the Japanese. Create Your Tarot Deck, the Third Act. Reading Fingertips and the Set of Your Fingers. Of the Fingers, sorry. <laughs> um, the Magic of Glass for using your crystals. The magic of pink crystals, develop your psychic abilities, precognitive powers, as well as the obligatory poster, we have 16 Yotarikos, poster M, major arcana spreads. Here is the inside guide for pentacles and cups. And here, if I can get this into view, is the major arcana spread for wands and swords. Yes, it did say one sort. Okay. So that's that. Next up, we have issue number 108. In this one, we got six more Yoga Sutra cards. We have book number three, Vibhuti, uh, Pada Sutras 50 to 52, and 53 to 56. Here is the inside, here's the backs of the cards. As well as book number four, Kalvaya, Pada Sutras 1 to 3, 4 to 6, 7 to 11, and 12 to 4. And the backs of themselves. I don't know why I smell that one. Okay, as well as a new special uh, object. Now, you remember from one of the past review wind down videos, I got a Chinese dragon statue. Well, now I got another Chinese animal statue. This time it's a phoenix. As you can see, it's very golden, it's very detailed, I actually like it. I don't know if the bird's, bird's head's pointing that way or that way, um, but I think it's best if we just have it like this. And for a quick comparison, here it is with the Chinese dragon. So the phoenix is bigger than the actual uh, dragon statue, a uh, different colour, you know, different model design, you know, all that stuff, but yeah.
So moving on, here is issue number 108. Here is the front, here is the back. Next issue, we're going to be getting a red agate crystal, as well as six more chakra cards. So let's go ahead and in this issue. We have aromatherapy for stress control, using Chinese herbal recipes, easing stress with the benefits of good food, understand, understanding how Feng Shui works, chakras in your endocrine system, understanding Ayurvedic herbs, Sexual lifestyles, polygamy, sexual lifestyles, mistress and concubines. Not that way. Analyzing traditional hand types, the magic of flint, writing your own spells, a children's party, developing your psychic abilities, telekinesis. As well as the obligatory poster, this time it's for part 17 of Fall Time in the Future. Your palm your course, poster C, your carers, your career, and the mouse. Here's the inside. And here is the outside. Woo, that was a close one. Okay, so... Moving on, now we've done the magazines, time to view the second part of this, the board games I got. So, first off, it's a TV show one, it is, is The Weakest Link. Let's look at the box and sell. So, on the front of the box, we have Weakest Link, Inc., um, You Are the Weakest Link, Goodbye, and Robinson, who is the host. On this side of the box, not just the game, the actual game board itself. On the side of the box, you know, all that. Top of the box, the old projector or something. Hi! <laughs> on the side of the, on the bottom of the box, you have BBC and all that. And on the back of the box, we have, you know, obligatory product shots. There's that, the other little description here and there. You know, put it in to, you know, pause it, read it, you're welcome. And on the bottom, we have my very good friend, the Bad Baby! And that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have the Weakest Link board game. Now this is based off of the TV game show from BBC, The Weakest Link. It's very different. Um, you have little, little questions here, so you know which player is next. Um, little flap here, little buttons here and there. Um, and to insert the questions, use these cards. There's a code at the, at the top. You basically have to put that code in with these bands at the top. And then knows what knows what it is, so that's really useful. Um, buttons are right here. You know, have A, B, C, uh, bank, pass, start, sound, uh, pause. You know, on and off and reset button. But yeah, let's get into the noises. So on off switch is right here. The battery compartment is right here. It takes four or three AA batteries, um, which are not included. So you have to get them yourself. But yeah, so button is right here. Turn on and you get. So you get the idea, um, but yeah, so, and on the back you have a little compartment here for the question cards that you're not using, so that's very useful in my case. Moving on to the next board game we got, we have Place Your Bet, so, look at the box again, you know, place your bets here, you know, uh, will you back a winner, the instructions are commentary by my name Derek Thompson, DD included, so our box, place your bets, place your bets, place your bets, place your bets. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, everything here, you know, pictures of the actual DVD, a rundown and all that, so you can like pause the video if you want to read it, go ahead, pause it on me, you're welcome. And um, surprisingly, th this hasn't got the bad baby, so good for that. So, here in this box, I will open this up on camera, so if I can get to it, we have instructions. The said DVD itself, which I haven't tried yet. I'll probably review it like in another video. Surprisingly, you have you have um postcards um with a little rundown. So if you want to pause as well, you know, go ahead, pause it, free read on me, you're welcome. And the same with that. Got some pencils, um, some betting slips, and what good and what 
And what good gambling game is it when you need money? So like plasma. So it's like Monopoly, except you know, it's horse racing instead of land making. So that's fun. Um, in here. Okay, so that's that. So, moving on. Our next board game is Big Brain Academy. A the game based on the Nintendo T Nintendo DS game itself. So in the front of the box, you know, you got a little rundown, university games and all that. On the side of the box, Big Brain Academy, Big Brain Academy, Big Brain Academy. Oh and oh look, Big Brain Academy. And on the back of the box, you know, you have your legendary product shots. It's got everything included here, you know, all that good stuff. As well as, you know, our good friend, Bad Baby! There's that. Okay, so. In the Big Brain Academy board game, you get a spinner. I can't spin it with one hand, so I'm sorry. Uh, rules of play. A giant pencil. Um, four... Five uh, sets of cards. Um, triangle pieces for one of the year games. As well as counters, it symbolizes what game you have won. But one of the pieces that comes with the actual volume itself is this. This is what they call the brainometer. This is symbolize what is how much points you have won. So in a bit of a scale, if it gets to the heaviest point, you won the game, you know. It's, it's very useful. I have to say, I actually thought this is actually part of one of the um, activities you have to like win points with. But what I found is like to use to win in, to uh, measure the points you got. It's really useful. Although, um, funny so if you can if you can't tell, um, I'm using a blue tech for both of them because um, when I actually got the game, uh, one of them was actually broken, but the other one wasn't. But I thought she broke it. After I tried to remove it. Yeah. Whoops. But I got through the problem, you know, still works well. That's that. And the final game I got is Golden Balls. This is what this is actually based off the ITV board game. So box here, you know, Golden Balls, and short game. Jasper, do you have where take like, who's got what it takes to take the lot on this side of the box? You know, Golden Balls. Golden balls, look at her box shot. Golden balls, and golden balls. And on the back of the box, you know, you have your obligatory product shots. It's got this, that, and then yeah, all together, a little rundown, you know, if you want to read it, if you can, go ahead, pause the video, read it on me, you're welcome. And you know, all that good stuff, and all that, and bad baby! And that's basically that for the packaging. So, so move right along, here we have the golden balls board game. The next of our board game. So, let's get closer so we can take a look at the details. So, one of the things that, so the first thing I'll show you is actually part of the actual game itself. It is the golden bag. Now this is used to mix the um, golden balls themselves. So when you push it, so when you push the handle out, push the handle in, you know, I think you'll use it to mix them. But if you want to like mix and release them, you just, Pull it out. This thing, this thing does have to see some force. Um, so let's just get some, get some, get some, get some, you know, some balls right here. Put them in. These actually what they look like themselves. Inside, like either like a, like numerous cash amounts or killer. Let's um close it up. So. There you can see it's mixing away, but if we just push the handle and do it again, is it working?
Oh, there we go. So you so you push the handle in, then it then it releases them. But you push it out, then it mixes them. So let's try that again. So. As you can see, he actually works, so that's good. This also has lights and uh, has sound, so the background is right here. I think this takes two or three triple A, so yeah, so it takes three triple A batteries. They are not included, but surprisingly, this one actually had it, same as weakest things. So this button on a switch is but right here, turn on and you get So as you can see, like for players all looking to talk their way to the big money. As you can see, it helps, you know, keep Who's got what it takes to take the lot. As you can see, it helps, you know, keep the game. As you can see, it helps get the game, you know, lively and everything, and it's like the show itself. So moving on, you know, push the button, you know, get round one, round two, bin a win or split and steal, so push the button. Round one. Round two. Bin or win. Split or steal. That's the final round, so... We you know, know what your jackpot is. The golden question is, can you keep it? This has been Golden Balls. Until next time, goodbye. Shush! So to turn it off, you just might have to hold the button until you hear this has been Golden Balls. Until next time, you know, hold that. But yeah, this can actually get annoying if you're trying to, like, speak, as you can see right there. So, yeah. This is actually part of part of a uh, bin or win. It's basically help with to find out what's the uh, big jackpot. Um, these are to represent the the balls that you've binned. And here is the actual board itself. If I can get it all in view, as you can see, you know it's very. Very big, there's a very many holes. Here's for bin or win, you know, you know, that, and there's a little hole here for the actual talkative ball machine itself. So that's all that, so that's all that. Good, you also got voting pads for player A, B, C, or D, as well as you know, spare uh, money and um, tabs, as well as uh, special balls for killer balls. Or split or steel balls. So there we go. That is the end of this week's episode of Re Rewind Down. So in this episode, we reviewed two new My Body Spirit magazines, as well as the following ball games: Weakest Link, Big Brain Academy, Place Your Bets, and Golden Balls. So if you like this video, please like, please like, a share, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. As always, yeah, I'll have this. You can also check out my other uh, poetry videos. I got lots of performance videos in my channel, as well as the review wind down uh, playlist, so you can like catch all the other episodes and all the good stuff in my YouTube channel as well. So you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, of course. But yeah, so that is this week's episode of review wind down, and this is Mickey saying, "Ing, please enjoy life as it as it is, because we're all part art reviewers." We just gotta find out what to review. As always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!